Guess what we got to do today? All right, guys. Papa Pepper back again at the Abundant Harvest Homestead, and if you follow any homesteading channels or know anything about it, a lot of times people are going to be incubating eggs. A lot of times they're going to have chickens, quails, guineas, ducks, sometimes even geese, swans, peacocks. Who knows what they might be into? But they're going to be hatching out little things from eggs, and that's going to be one of their goals. Well, today we're actually starting to incubate some eggs. Um, We've got a chicken sitting on some right now. We've got a guinea sitting on some right now. We've got some ducks sitting on some right now. We've got some quail eggs in the incubator inside a monster truck's room. But in this bucket, I have some other eggs we're gonna to try to get to hatch, and uh, they're not even bird eggs. So what happened is, we temporarily detained this black rat snake. And uh, my truck was having some issues, so I didn't leave the property is often as recent as that, as usual. And normally if I catch a snake, I like to let it go within uh, within just a couple days. Um, they're not gonna have any food or water, which is fine. Um, you keep them somewhere cool, you know, so they're not out baking in the sun, and they'll be fine. But this one here, we detained, and we just got her the other day, and she was gravid, she had eggs. So now we've got this small pile of eggs. And much like other eggs, there's a certain amount of moisture and humidity and temperature and a lot of variables. So black rat snakes are um, officially the largest, longest snake in North America. They do lay eggs. She's got a pretty good clutch there. Um, I haven't counted them yet and she's probably gonna try to bite me when I try to grab them. But they'll lay their eggs in whole rotting logs, um, kind of like piles of sawdust or leaf litter sometimes in manure, places where a number of variables may suit them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to simulate something where she might kind of lay them on her own. And I've got this bin here. I've got it off in a, in a shady section of the property. There are some decomposing leaves in there and some other stuff. I'm going to try to just move back a little bit, it's make a, a clutch of eggs, and then um, put a board over it or two and see what we can do from there so hopefully it'll work and they can take oh man i think from about like 30 to 50 days depending if i remember right so yeah like a month or two almost to actually hatch so we might not know for a while but hopefully hopefully it'll work what did you say son it looks like she has 11. so how many you think are in there 11. 11 huh well, why don't we prepare a place? I'm gonna put most of them maybe right over here or something. But then I'm gonna have a second place just so we've got two different ones right over here. So we're gonna put maybe five or so here and the rest there. And what I'm gonna do is I'll grab her. Oh, good mama. Good mama. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it looks like more than that. Why don't you start relocating them carefully? Just pick up a couple at a time. Okay, there's three. So we'll put them on this first spot here. They're okay. so mushy. They're yeah, mushy. they're kind of leathery. So get another three or four. That's fine. Put those at the other spot. Okay. Yeah, Mama. Oh, how many is that? Six? Put them at the second spot. Sure. Then no. that one. Okay, so so far 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. We've got 13 so far. Is that all of them? Yep. Okay, 13. Son, this guy's getting in. Or she's getting in. Oh, she's around this tree already. Oh, mama. Hold on, baby girl. Come on back. We're not trying to release you right next to the quail. I know exactly what's going to happen. Okay. Got it. Should get one on the head here. And I'll take over. Oh, good catch, son. And I'll take over. Oh, good catch, son. She just opened her mouth, and he said, nope. Nope, not gonna do it. Okay, keep control of that. In fact, you can probably stick her in the bucket for now, and we will take her for a ride today, even. That's okay, Mama. Where are we gonna go then with her? We've got those. So, let's see. I'll just kind of split them up into two different areas, so there's a little more not a huge amount of variables here, but wow. we will see. Yeah, they are kind of... Give me a board then, son. It's the one that we got. Okay. I'm just going to kind of leave them under there. And then the other one, son. Just gonna leave them like that, maybe. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some of this leaf litter kinda on top and around. So, although this is like a, a water trough, there is some holes in it. I kinda taped over the big ones. But if it rains, um, it shouldn't be horribly bad. You know what, we're gonna put some uh, sheet metal over the top of this too. Yeah, we'll do that. And that way we'll kinda deter a lot of the rain that could get in there. But that's one of our current experiments and I may uh, just kind of do a little more research on kind of snake eggs and stuff. I know I've looked at it before in my life. Um, never actually... We hatched uh, ones up in... No, those were live laid. Yeah, okay. I was thinking I know I saw some hatch before but we had um, gravid red bellied snakes that gave live birth and we were able to kind of watch them come out of their I don't know if you call it even an ambiotic sac or the little sac they're born in because they're not born in the shell that I saw maybe I'll roll a clip of that in here too but we'll check back a little bit later and see what happens we'll keep you posted all right guys Papa Pepper back again made it home and uh, while I was gone the children were taking care of things so you see Pinky Pepper what did you find and where was it um I found this in the chicken nesting boxes it ate Three eggs. Okay, and what did you do when you seen it? Well, it was getting dark and I couldn't really see, but when I came in there, I saw something and it looked like a snake. So what's and your first plan of action to stay safe in a situation like that? I said, monster check, do you want to collect the eggs? To see if we go over there and see if it was a snake. And then I decided to go over there and I looked down and I said, a snake monster truck, go get a flashlight. And he said, no, you, and he was playing with the pot. And then I said, no, you, I see it. And he ran and got one and it took him a few seconds. And then he came Mom back. Was talking to me. And <coughs> he said that mom said we could pick it up. And then I got it. All right, so mom trusted their ID on a black rat snake. It's a snake they're rather familiar with. She gave him a flashlight for verification. But these children, anytime they do encounter stuff like this, they've got to check with us. And that, um, a while ago we had a snake, it was a black rat snake, and normally when we find them, we uh, relocate them, so we put it in a safe place to relocate it, and then the next thing we know... So today, it looks like their birthday. I don't know if you can see the one on the far left. We're hatching baby black rat snakes today. So if you saw our post about hatching, uh, the baby rough green snakes in our hands. You'll know that we've done things like this before. And it's just a matter of, uh, you know, these were laid in a five gallon bucket. We decided to create an appropriate uh, environment for them to be able to uh, finish their incubation period in. We apparently were successful. That one right about here. That one was kind of always like that. So I'm not sure. But I do plan 
on having the rest of them hatch. So we should get a dozen. It is coming out. You are right, bugger. Guys, our first one is out. It just left the egg. That thing is like a foot long. What do you girls think? He's pretty. He pretty. looks like a pink king snake. Oh, oh man. That is amazing. He's Child, so that is amazing. Look at that bugger. Look at the color of that. Hey, don't, don't squeeze it. We just took a suave. We just touched. So, hey bugger. You trying one today? Yeah. Gonna watch a black red snake hatch? Yeah. Just be careful. Yeah. And then red pepper already had one hatch, but it has a, an egg stuck to it, so she's gonna see what that one does. Sweet pepper's got one peeking out here. Mine was peeking out. And then it, it goes scared. back in, and this one came out quite a bit, and then it went back in. And uh, we've got at least one more that's slit right now, and then I think six more that look. Uh, Viable that should be uh, hatching here soon enough. It's just weird to think about a foot long snake inside an egg that small. That's crazy. So, there's the one we hatched so far. Just beautiful. Don't you think, Bugger? Yeah. Well, Pinky Peppers kind of keeps coming in and out. That one's peeking. 
Look at red peppers. That one's peeking. And even buddy peppers. Don't, don't, don't scare it, little man. <coughs> Had his come all the way. Well, it peeked all the way out. But he moves a little more erratically. So, careful with that slime. Keep your hand down, little man. Dad, look at mine. All right, I girls. Hello. Look at that. So, like we said, snake etching is a once in a lifetime thing for the snakes. But apparently it's at least Get a twice in the lifetime thing. Whoa. For these children. Everybody's hatching now. Watch that, guys. Bugger, don't run over and scare them. Don't scare Just me. Oh, look, at, oh, look at it go, look at it go, look at it go. Whoa. That is awesome. That is awesome. Hey, little one. That's big. Hey. Let it keep going. It still has plenty more to See come. See what happens. Let it go. Look at that, guys. Ah, uh, mine is going. Still back in the egg. Ah, mine is dead. You got it? Oh, wow. Yep. It's still oh, 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 oh. Set down your stuff. Careful. There you go, little girl. Support it with two hands. It's a fresh little baby. Your egg is now empty, and look at that one, guys. Look at that, it's actually... Whoa, and if you guys look, there's like all the little stuff it was hooked up to in the egg. Oh, there it comes. Here's it still attached on there. And it should come off soon as it starts to slither around. That is interesting. Huh. Me too. I'll we'll add that one to the bucket then. <coughs> wow. Just beautiful snakes. Look at that pattern. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Is that the snake you were hatching, little bugger? Yeah. Wait for it to come out. What do you think about that? Is that good? Yeah. Now you may pick it up nicely. Oh, let me get it. Don't, don't hurt it. Don't hurt it. It's Two hands. Crazy. And hold it nicely. What do you think? Yeah. I tried to bite. <laughs> hey, come here, bugger. Hi. Did you hatch a snake, little man? Yeah. What do you want to name it? Nick? Look at that. Is it beautiful? Yeah. I think so. Me. Was it an egg? Yeah. Oh, who, who, he did. who let it hatch out? Whoa! Another brother. That's Nick. Another brother. Don't hold it. Let it go in the bucket. Okay. Say bye bye, Nick. <coughs> Walk around by your brother, bugger. Bye, Nick. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just hanging out by the last Look little bit. Oh, shh. I want to get just a picture of that last bit coming out. Oh, that's cool. Guys, this is the stuff we love. You know, I love baby bunnies being born, too, and <coughs> other things and stuff. But just to see life in the raw... You know, I mean, who's really saw, like, a snake's afterbirth? <laughs> you know, like, who's seen that before? Most people never will. Some people don't even want to. But it exists and it's real. You may pick up your snake. And then go stand by your brother for a minute. Uh. Show me yours. Yeah, pretty cool, huh?
mama pepper now. Wow. I mean, you've got four-year-old daughters who've done this before. Is this She's your first cool. time? Yeah. Wow. And of that. course, mama pepper grew up in South Texas playing with rattlesnakes and stuff like that, right? No. No. <laughs> She never got into snakes too much till she started hanging out with me. I don't me. think I ever really saw any snakes till I met you. <laughs> you don't know that. I mean, that. I guess maybe in school I might have seen some snakes. I don't remember seeing them though, but I may have. Or, so, you know. That thing's going to be like a foot long, darling. Well, keep the egg on the head. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, you like that color Dad. pattern. I was, I really like it. I was not expecting them to look that way. I thought they were going to be like these teeny little snakes like this big and they would be like just little black snakes. These are uh, way bigger than I thought they were going to be. Grab the uh, medium sized one. So I was really surprised. I was like, whoa. They're so pretty. They just have beautiful skin. So if you guys look at this too, oh, there oh, it goes. Oh, here's my big one. <laughs> so you compare Whoa. the color of the juvenile here. Here you go, my lady. To a full-size one, where it's just oh. black and some other things. Wow. What do you think, Mama? They're beautiful. I think so too. Their heads are really pretty. They remind mm. me of like the king snakes, kind sure. of. Sure. Uh, yeah, they're super Daddy. pretty. Oh, look, the little buddy's got one too, and Mama's got one. <laughs> I think he takes after you. You know, guys, this is a really cool, incredible, precious thing. Um, at the moment, we've got seven hatched. Um, two more are open. You can see that it's got a couple slices in there, and there's a lot of just goo leaking out and then the other two I still believe are gonna hatch so I think we'll get 12 to actually hatch out of this batch I'll tell you what these got an incubation time of anywhere from like 37 to 51 days so you're going between a month and two of just kind of having them sit there and uh, just to watch this happen is, is incredible for us so glad to be able to film some of it take some photos of some of it share it with you guys and just let you check this out because a lot of people will never see this you can see that goober dripping from my hand and as you see um, as well you know a lot of people never will but we had this clutch happen and then the rough green snake clutch happened too so just blessed to be able to to have my children experience that to see that to check it out so we're gonna get back to some trivia I know what my snake bite laid up for a while I didn't really do any trivia but we're definitely doing some now so, a trivia from the last video, we're reading the um, bitter melons. The correct answers were Bob Mills Gardens or Bob Mills Simple Living. Um, I put in sun glow peppers, onions, garlic, um, walking onion, yeah, walking onion, sun glow, um, yeah, some different things like that. Um, I soaked them in salt water and then I also like boiled them in salt water to try to take the flavor away. And then uh, the kids said they tasted like soap. So if you answered all four of those questions correctly, you're in the shout out or running for a shout out in this video. The shout out in this video goes to a new friend of mine I met over on Instagram and now hanging out on YouTube too, but Squatchy Herper. Rather appropriate that Squatchy Herper would be the winner for a nice uh, snake video because he likes to get out there and find some stuff too. I started looking through some of his photos on Instagram, some of his videos on YouTube, and I'm like, man, this guy's got like all the same creatures we got as far as herps, you know, uh, reptiles and amphibians. And sure enough, uh, he's not entirely too far away from us. And he was the first one to help me um, accurately identify a new species of snake I caught, which was the broad banded water snake, um, Nerodia fascietta confluens, I think. But yeah, I knew it was a Nerodia, I knew it was a non venomous water snake, and of course, the uh, some of the other ones we get around here, but just had never seen one of those even though I knew they were in Arkansas, so very cool. Which brings us to the trivia for this video. The trivia for this video, how many snakes do I think is gonna hatch in this clutch? Question number two, what species of snake are we hatching right now? Question number three, what was the species of snake that we hatched last time? And, um, Last time we had four P. 
people in our family hatch them in their hands. It was pinky pepper, red pepper, monster truck the pepper, and sweet pepper. Two other people hatched them this time. Name one of the other people who just got to hatch their first snake in their hand ever. One of the other members of our family. If you know the answer to those four questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be choosing one person who answers all four of them correctly to give a shout out to in an upcoming video. So guys, uh, hopefully the rest of these will hatch and I will check you next time. Papa out. I mean, seriously, guys. <laughs> and this is only seven. There is more to come. Look at that. That one's trying to show me he's tough. Look at that. Whoa, did you see that? Oh, man, this is awesome. Okay, I'll have to see what it looks like when they're all hatched. Very cool. Very cool. Pop out. Pop out.